Hi guys, welcome to my messy room. I am currently in the process of moving out and it feels so somber because it was just yesterday that I was moving in and now I'm here packing my stuff once again <laughs> to leave this flat. So I've already put some clothes into that suitcase. Then I've got some stuff that I'd save, like some bubble wrap that I'd save from the last time I moved in. I've got my second suitcase here. I'm basically trying to decide the clothes that I want to keep and the clothes that I want to donate probably that's in that bag because I'm low-key realizing that I have a lot of stuff. This is actually kind of stressful, I can't lie, because I'm also meant to be traveling. So that means I'm going to have to pack the clothes I'm wearing to travel and the clothes that I'm donating and... <sighs> I want to get some duct tape from the store. This is going to be really, really fun with my nails. <laughs> I can't believe this is a large box. Like, I thought it'd be bigger. That's what she said. I genuinely don't even know like how to start packing. Because I keep thinking I won't need that many boxes, but I have 15 boxes. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> to clear my room out. So I've just got like bin bags. I put in my cold weather clothes and hair. So that's the progress we're making so far. It's not easy guys, it's not easy. <laughs> Honestly, a lot of what was left to pack were my books, um, and then I have to pack up the kitchen as well. But yeah, I think we're gonna finish by tomorrow, hopefully. I'm so tired. <laughs> I woke up feeling so emotional today. <laughs> this has been like such a weirdly emotional week for me. I've got like four boxes packed so far. Um, I just packed off my shoes and I'm just like, I think what's really going to hit is like having to take my posters and like pictures down. Cause like I had to put my books away and that just like, that took it out of me. I cry way too much on this channel. But no, I think my friends are gonna come help me out as well in a bit, which, Yay. Because I'm just like really overwhelmed as well with like how to go about packing. I think I'm almost basically done. Like look at this. This is what my wardrobe looks like right now. I'm literally, look at all these hangers. <laughs> like what the hell? And I've just got one pair of shoes. I've still got some clothes in there because I am still living here. But also because like I, I don't really know what I'm wearing to Norway yet. And I really just packed away like my cold weather clothes. And I might even have to have a look at that again because my brother was saying that it's quite cold in Norway. But yeah, let me show you how empty everything's got. So I had to take down these. I don't think I'm going to disassemble this because it took forever to assemble. We've got empty drawers. Obviously, this has also been cleared out which I'm still packing and stuff, so there's still like one set of books. <laughs> so I put away my little heater thingy and like, I'm gonna put away my lamp, my lights, my mirror. There's no reason for me to be this emotional. <laughs> Cause like I just breathed room into this and I have to suck it out. It's gonna look so soulless and empty and I'm just, but no, it's fine. Cause we're moving on to new things, you know? Times are and marches forward. Like another thing that's kind of frustrating is that I don't have enough of one thing. So like, I don't have enough of like bathroom stuff to just have a bathroom box. 
So I've just got like a bunch of random miscellaneous things just stuffed into it. It's mostly just clothes and books to be honest that I've got. And then I have to go pack up the kitchen as well, which that's like the final thing I think. So we're in my kitchen for one of the last times. I'm packing up like my plates and cutlery and stuff. Way I have scrubbed this down. Because <laughs> one thing about me, I will get that deposit back. <coughs> it smells like chemicals in this, in this kitchen. The kitchen looks so empty without my little blender. I have to clean up this area. This is all officially cleared out. As is this area. So we're literally all done. Like, I washed the air fryer, so I'm just waiting for that to dry. We're literally leaving. <laughs> you know what's funny? It's like, I'm not actually leaving like now, now. Cause like we're in June and like my tenancy expires in July. So I'll technically be back in July. So I will literally go through these motions all over again. I literally forget how big this campus is sometimes. So I've been looking for this outdoor cinema place for like so long that it's just here. I found it, yay. Moving out felt so emotional and intense for me because it marked the true conclusion to my first year at uni. And it made me think of the journey that it took to get here. If you've been here a while, you'd know that I was previously a law student and it wasn't something I particularly enjoyed. It was always my dream to be a writer and I truly relished the opportunity to finally be at uni studying what I love. My first year at UOB was the best year I could have ever imagined. I made an effort to put myself out there. I met so many incredible and lovely people. And I just feel so happy and proud of my growth. Oh my god. Like, I'm literally so happy. Like, I feel like these are the things that really make me feel like life is worth living, you know? As I move into my second year, I'm excited to see what experiences lie in store for me.
and the person that become as a result. Mm -hmm.